Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson, and today is Sunday, January 30th, 2022. And today I'm going to be discussing Omicron symptoms, some of the common ones and the newer ones. You know, Omicron remains a threat in many parts of the United States and the world. The most common Omicron symptoms appear to be scratchy throat, sore throat, headache, fever, cough, muscle aches, tiredness, congestion or runny nose, croupy cough in babies, poor feeding, decreased alertness in babies and young children. And some of the newer symptoms that doctors are reporting can include night sweats, back pain, red eyes, abdominal pain, diarrhea, especially in children, stomach ache, rash on the skin, fingers, toes, mouth, and tongue lesions, particularly in children, and confusion, drowsiness, sleeping more, acting strangely in adults and children. Now, I want to say that the CDC has not listed these newer symptoms on their website, but this is what some of the doctors are reporting seeing in their office and in, in the emergency rooms. Now, I want to emphasize that for some people, Omicron may not act like the common cold or the flu. Certainly, many people have mild illness. Some people have no symptoms whatsoever. But here in the United States, many of our hospitals, emergency rooms, doctors' offices are overflowing with Omicron patients. And sadly, so are the morgues. The sad truth is, among the unvaccinated, Omicron is driving the death rate here in the United States higher than last fall's Delta wave, according to the experts. Now, folks, everybody's body is not the same, and so many factors go into how you respond to this virus as an individual. Your age, how much virus infects you, your underlying chronic conditions, and other factors. You know, vaccination is a personal health decision. It's not a political one. And please remember to emphasize all of these non-pharmaceutical strategies, such as to get some sunlight, take a multivitamin and mineral supplement that has a supplemental vitamin D and C, appropriate for your age, wear your mask in public, wash your hands, optimize your indoor ventilation, with a HEPA air filter if you can, and avoid crowded indoor places to reduce your risk of getting infected. That's my message today. My views are my own. Stay safe.